We are all holy diamonds in the rough, so don't. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be doing a very exciting makeup tutorial. So this will be a summer sweat proof type of makeup look. So this is for when you're gonna be out and about, it's a hot, humid day, and you just want your makeup to last all day and look perfect throughout. So I'll be showing you guys how I achieve this look and also have a very exciting new lip product to show you guys. And the lip product will not transfer. So it's great for when you're gonna be wearing a mask, you know, taking it on and off, and you just don't wanna worry about your lip color transferring or um, having to reapply lipstick. So if you're interested in how I achieve this look, then please keep on watching. So starting out, I'm gonna prime my face using the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas Primer. And so this is a really good one for just smoothing out your face. So if you have any pores, it's really good at filling those in. And also this will help the foundation grip onto it and it'll help your makeup last longer throughout the day. So going in with a little pea size amount, dabbing it onto the center of my face. So just spreading it across my face, so once you have the primer on there, just let it set for a minute or two before going in with foundation. So for foundation, I'll be using the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. And I'm in the shade 2.5N. Um, because of the formulation, you wanna make sure to shake it up before you apply it to your face. But it is a very lightweight formula as well, so perfect for the summertime when you just don't wanna feel like you have a lot on your face. And I find that this also offers pretty good coverage. Um, so you can shear it out for it to be a little bit more natural looking, or you can build it up and get pretty good medium coverage. And so this is perfect for the summer because it is waterproof and won't sweat off and it won't transfer. So I'm actually gonna use my hands for this application. And so I'm concentrating the foundation on the center of my face again, where I find that I need a little bit more coverage. And this is also a really good tip for making your makeup look more natural. And feel free to go in with another light layer or just on the places where you need a little bit more coverage. So for me, I have a little bit of a breakout. So I'm gonna go in and dab that just to cover that up. Okay, so then next I wanna go in with the Fenty Match Stick. So this is really good for contour. So I have it in the shade Mocha. So it's a little bit more of a cooler shade. So this one, although it's still cream, I find that the formula is a little bit stiffer or drier. So it's really good for lasting a little longer. So I'm just gonna go in and um, directly draw where I want to contour. And then I'm actually gonna go and blend it out with a brush. So I'm using the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush to just blend out the contour. Now that I have the contour on, I want to set it with some bronzer. So I'm using the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer in Tantastic. So this is just a classic bronzer shade. Going in where I put the contour and using a fluffier bronzer brush because you don't need to be as precise with this. I find that powders tend to last longer than cream products, so we are going in with a powder blush. I'm actually going to be using this Benefit set. So it has the blush shade Dallas that I really like. It's more of like a neutral nude color and it pairs well with any type of eye look. So. And then going in with powder to set everything, my trusty Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish in the shade to medium, and just dusting that all over my face. More concentrating in the T-zone area and to make sure that the bronzer and blush are blended seamlessly. Okay, so now I want to go into eyes. So today we'll be doing a bronzy look. In order to make it last longer, I'm actually going to start with a cream base. So I'm using the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in the shade Burnished Bronze. And I'm just putting this all over my eyes. And you don't have to be very precise with this at all. because We're gonna be blending this out and just using a Real Techniques blending brush 
Just blend out the harsh edges. Okay, so now that we have a cream base, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance. So this is a very warm tone palette, but I'm going to stay a little bit more neutral and just use, I think, the warm taupe. I'm gonna go in with warm taupe, I'm just using this to blend out even further. And then with the same brush, I'm going to use Tempera, which is a light cream color, and concentrating this more on my brow bone. Now I wanna go in with Antique Bronze. So it's this color right here, and you see that it does have like a purplish shift to it, but once you put it on your eyes, it's like a really pretty um, warm brown. So I'm just going in with my fingers, carefully tapping that on my eyelid over where we put down that cream. Taking a little bit more of that warm taupe and blending out. And now I'm going to add a little bit more dimension with Primavera, which is a light gold, and concentrating this on the inner third. I just want to add a little bit more definition along my lash line with this dark brown shade. It's a matte brown and it's called Cypress Umber. And so taking more of a concentrated shader brush, dot that along my lash line. And then just taking a little bit of the antique bronze shade and bring it down to my lower lash line. I'm just going to line my eyes with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On pencil, and this is in the shade Roach. So this adds a little bit of definition, but is not as harsh as a black ink liner. And then I'm going in, curling my lashes with the Shu Uemura Lash Curler. So I just zoomed you guys in a little bit to do the mascara. So using the Hero and Make Long and Curl Waterproof Mascara. So this is really good at holding a curl. And for this, I just like to go in with one coat to coat the lashes and then this can be built up but typically I just wear one coat of mascara. So I do have another mascara. So I got this in a little kit um, just to try out. So it's the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara and it's okay. I think it's really good at building up volume because of the brush. So this is what the brush looks like. You can see that it is a pretty fat brush. I'll sometimes go in with this after that first coat of mascara. And if I feel like I want a little bit more volume, then I'll go in with this. So I'll just show you what that looks like. This one doesn't flake, which is nice. So that's mascara done. And in order to give the illusion of even more volume, I'm gonna go ahead and tight lighten my eyes with the Marc Jacobs uh, highlighter. So you can see that that made my lashes look a little bit thicker. So now I'm gonna zoom you guys out to do the lips. So I'm really excited about the lips. I just got this in and this lip product is called the Le Rouge Duo Ultra Tenue Gloss. So essentially it's a dual ended type of lip product. You put this on, which is the pigment and the liquid lipstick. And then this part is the gloss and this also makes it a little bit more comfortable to wear on the lips. And this is in Timeless Beige. So I'm gonna go put this on and demo it for you guys. see the color is this really gorgeous nude um, so I think this will go with a lot of different eye looks you give this a minute or two to set down and you'll notice it start getting pretty tacky and sticky and this just means that it's drying down so you'll just want to let that set before you put on the gloss so I just want to show you before I put on the gloss how transfer proof this is so I have a tissue here I'm gonna press it and literally nothing comes off. It's super impressive. So now going in with the gloss, 
And so the gloss makes it super comfortable and also adds just this really high shine finish. And so this is the finished makeup look. So it's perfect for those days where you're gonna be out and about, you're gonna be outside, potentially wearing a mask for a while. You still want your lip product to be perfect once you take it off. And you also don't want any of your foundation or anything to transfer off of your mask. Then this is a perfect makeup look for those days. So if you enjoyed watching this video, then please like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and also follow me on Instagram. It's linked down in the description box below. And so thank you guys for watching and hope to see you next time. Bye.